Okay, so on this model 17, I want to now show you how to model the basement. As you can see that from, from the cat file, there is a basement floor on this A story office building. So I will show you how to um, create the basement floor on this eight story hotel building. Okay, so to get the basement floor, go back to your story one. So, so your one is one that has the basement floor okay so now go back to your plan view of your story one so click on this um let's back, back to this first and then come here and then click your story one or you can also access story one on this tab also on this place okay so right now on this story one you cannot see that we have already had beams here on the story one so to now create our basement floor we have now um insert that basement level because basement is inside the ground and so we have to now insert that level below so how to insert a level below go to this place click on this place that says insert story and then since you have can see that we have up to 10 story so since the story below the basement is the basement should be the first floor that you're meant to see just put one now if you put one now this one that is already here is this thing will now become story two so this now become a fresh story just for basement okay so right now okay let me do, let me just go back again sorry back again and then back to our 3d view and let's go and count first our all our stories that we have okay back now this if not because our basement this is not gonna our ground floor First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, so we are left to create another story, which is the basement, to make it eight. Because right now, if this is a basement, we have ground floor, first floor, second floor, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. We are counting based on UK standard. So this now is now our ground floor. So we have first floor, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eight. So we have to create for a basement floor. So go back right now. Back to plan plan um, story one plan plan view and then click on this place that says insert story and then insert one to create the basement. So this one already existing will now become story one. So we have become story two. Why the story one right now is now become now becomes a new story. So go here right now and then click on OK and then say yes. And wait for it to just change okay so we can now see that the this is now the story one which is now empty so now go back to this place now and say generate generate sorry make story one so it's now active and then go to this place and say generate from here generate from story one story so sorry from story two down to story one so we want to copy everything on story two to story one and then we now say um okay okay once here shows completed we now click on close okay so close now this now becomes our story one so on this story one right now which is not sorry this now becomes our basement floor on this basement floor now we will now begin to change our um um now add our um shear walls because those shear walls are to retain the soil on the basement so right now first of all i will remove um all the cantilever slab that we have here because this place doesn't have cantilever slab take it off first take it off take them off first this one also should go off and this also should go off and off and off and off again so take off all the cantilever that you have here and this also okay that's fine and then right click or say right click and then say delete delete and also take off um all the beams all the external beams because we have to replace it with the with the wall take off all the external beams that we have here it's not beams alone, not internal. It's not beams alone. 
Et son abîme c'est l'on. Be snappy with it. Ok. Take this off. Ok. This. 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 Okay, so right now, now I click now and then say delete, just the beams, that's fine, okay. And then now create your um, basement concrete wall. Go to the concrete member here and click on wall, concrete wall, this wall here. Telebus appears just now. What is the column size that we have? We have, let's use a concrete, um, Let's use a wall size of 300, 300 width, and then come here and click on this letter that says centralize it. Come here and say centralize it, okay? And then come here and let's now begin to insert our walls now from this point now to this point here. Okay, that's fine. And then from here to here. To this point here and from here to here and from here to here and from this point down to this point here so you you, you have to insert your wall column to column or point to points okay so these walls are going to stop directly on the basement floor while the columns continue to the last to the to the to the roof level okay so again put this here again from this point to this point and then from here to here so with this now we have to insert back this beam here so i'll come here first click on this beam to insert back this there was a beam here so the beam now will now connect that directly on the wall so click now on this place onto this place here that's fine and say no okay escape do the same thing okay let me see same thing will still happen somewhere here so draw a beam here from here to here first and escape first go back to your concrete wall active make it active okay now begin to draw again from this point to this point and from here to here so you have to just insert your um this your basement retaining wall are just around the perimeter of the building okay and not the interior of the building just on the perimeter of the building that's where you should have your retaining wall from this point to this point and then from here so here column to column points start from there to put your 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 walls retaining wall from this point to this point okay and from here to this point here and from here now to this point here we are almost done as you can see that and from here to here so if you have um, followed this course up to this very level i will say congratulations because you have done a lot already Okay, so from here to here, okay. We also insert a beam from this point. So from here to here first. And from this point now to this point here. And from that point now all the way down to this point here. And then finally to this point to join here. And then immediately we also insert the beam that is meant to be here and to be here. So the beam now that is going to be there right now will now connect directly to this wall.
So take this new property right now, right click on new property, and then take it and then insert it along the line from here to here. The same thing again from this point to this point. Okay, that's fine. So right now, we'll now um, copy the wall loads and paste on these new beams that we just created. So I'll copy this wall load now. Copy the wall load. Click here and then click here. Select the beams which I've just done just now. Sorry, let me copy it again first. Right click, copy. Copy wall load and then click here, control key and then select these beams here. Right click and then click paste. Okay, that's fine. So if you now check our 3D view right now, you will now see what we have just done so far. So go to now 3D view. Wonderful. So you can now see that what we have just done, that we have now created our um our basement. So this is how to now create basement. Let's can see that. So this now becomes our basement floor. As you can see that this this concrete wall here is to retain the soil that we, that will cause an active pressure or passive pressure around this area. So you can see that this wall right now we, we have to resist the pressure from the soil. So this is now the retaining wall of this basement, as you can see that. So so whenever you're doing a basement, always use a concrete wall to retain the soil around the place. Okay, so this is now how to do that. And then we'll now go again to move on right now to the next stage, which is now. So you can see now right now that we have done the full modeling of this A-story building. So you can see that this series two was focused basically on the modeling of the A-story. Series 1 was showing you how to perform a GA drawing to understand your plan and then position your columns and all that in your CAD file before now bringing it to, to this very stage. But this model 2 showed you how to perform the full modeling. As you can see that we, we have modeled everything involved in this history building as you can see there right now. So on the Series 3, which you are entering, is going to tell, tell you the design and the building analysis that is the series three so get in touch with that and then we move on to now series three which is now the building analysis okay thank you so much and then for you have been great to be from series one to this series two i will say congratulations because you have done almost 80 percent of your work as a structurer and civil engineer here with software portal structure and here on Ekidel platform. Okay, so if you want other video training or courses, I would say you should just go to our cha our channel Ekidel or go to the website ekidel.com. Ekidel is spelled E-K-I-D-E-L dot com and then you will see an amazing courses that you are meant to enroll in and also get for to build your career as a civil and structural engineer. Okay, so thank you so much and then God bless you, we love you. Okay, let me just take you around, uh, around this uh, retaining wall which I've just done so far. So you can now see how our retaining wall just looks like just now. This is how it looks like as you can see, they're very, very wonderful and very, very beautiful. Okay, that's fine. So right now we are moving into the series three, which is now the building analysis and design stage. So stay tuned and then watch out for the next. Bye, goodbye.